we need to talk. Welcome to video two of the R-Lodge series. Now, for those of you who don't know what R-Lodge stands for, R-Lodge stands for a ridiculous lapse of judgment. And this is usually a result of one of two things. One being cognitive dissonance, where you hold two contradictory ideas and you act in favor of one, which means you act against the other. And this tends to cause stress. Now, the other is just lack of awareness in general. Now, let's get into it. And in this video, we're going to discuss this one statement. I know what to do, but I'm just not doing it. What? The issue here, I'm about to end this whole video, I'm about to end this whole career right here. The issue is, if you know how to make $10,000 a week, say that's for money, uh, if you know how to get fit, if you know how to save someone, who knows? If you know all of these things, why aren't you doing it, right? I know where it comes from though. It comes from one of two places. One being where the person actually does know what to do, but the activity is not sustainable over the long run. And so they burn out. They might actually know what to do, but they might not have a sustainable system for continuing along that path. Where, for example, in business, if I'm doing one-to-one -one coaching, which I'll always be doing, but if I'm doing one-to-one -one coaching, that isn't entirely scalable by myself. So no matter what, I'm gonna to need to hire a team who can also coach others one-to-one, -one. ideally with the same set of values, the same paradigm, all of what I also teach. As another example, if I'm going to the gym like six days a week, which I don't do anymore, but if I'm going to the gym six days a week and if I wasn't eating properly or if I wasn't uh, fasting properly, if I wasn't sleeping properly, then I would burn out. So if I was training for like Mr. Olympia or something and I'm training six days a week and I keep burning out or if I keep getting injured, then, you know, one day I could just say, hey, you know what, I give up. Uh, I know what to do, I know what it takes but I'm just not doing it. Now, the other is when people don't actually know what to do. All they have is a general ethereal idea of what to do, but they are entirely unable to understand the practical application where someone might say, hey, you know, yeah, you know, I gotta, I gotta eat healthy. Let's use that one, eat healthy. I don't even know what that means, <laughs> eat healthy. And they don't know how to do it. I mean, I'm not faulting you there if you don't know how to do it. I don't know how to eat healthy. What, what does that mean? We all have different biochemistries. It's the same biology for the most part as a species, but our biochemistries are different. We don't know what's going on. Anyways, now for those who realize that they don't know what to do, you're actually in a much better place than those who think they know what to do and also than those who know what to do but don't know how to scale that behavior and don't know how to sustain it because what's most important is consistency and sustainability. And that's what we're all about, baby. So that's our lodge for the day. And if you need any help on the fitness aspect with regard to maintaining a sustainable lifestyle where you can continue to eat what you want, you can continue to work out however you want, um, then you know what to do. You know what to do. See you in the next one. People are going to think I recorded this on the same day because I'm wearing the same shirt. I recorded it on the same day.